Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to run the university management system project. I got some messages in my email when they want to run the project. Many of them face some difficulties. That's why today I am going to show you how to run the project. So let's get started. But notice that previously I have used gem software for the database storage. But now I will show you using MySQL Workbench for the database storage. But don't worry, the process is same. You can also use Gem software. No problem. Now go to the project file. Right click the project file and extract files. Go inside file. Here you can see photos folder. Inside the photos folder, you can see all the GUI photos here. After that, you can see university management folder. Also, two jar file here. First one is J calendar, and the other one is MySQL connector. And finally, you can see our database file name university info. Now let's open it in the Notepad++. Here you can see all the database code. Let's go to the MySQL Workbench and create a university info database. Now I will create a database name university info. Select all the SQL code and run it. Our database has been created. Refresh it. Here you can see our database name. Now we have to select our database. Our database has been selected. Now I re remove this code. Now back to the Notepad++ and copy all the code and paste it here and select all the code and run it. Now you can see all the codes are executed. Let's move on. Now I will open my project file, open project. I am successfully open my project. If you face any kinds of errors while opening the project, First, you will go to the libraries folder and you need to make sure that these two jar files, jcalendar and mysql connector are there. If you find it, then no problem. If these two jar files are not there, then you need to add these two jar files. Let's see how to add jar file. Right click the libraries folder and add jar folder. Now I am selecting jcalendar and mysql connector and click open. These two jar file already added to my project so don't need to add jar file again. Here you can see my connection class. My database username root and password my name. Here you have to add your own database username and password. By default username root and password empty. Now so far so good let's run the project. My username admin and password also admin.
then login this is my university management system project 